Hi there, my name is Bethany Daly, and today we're going to be a mis doing a mystery project loom along that involves our uh, blue Nifty Knitter small loom with the 24 pegs and 100% cotton uh, yarn, sugar and cream is great to use. I have two colors here because we are going to hold two ends together. You can use two ends of the same spool, whichever works good for you. And we're also going to be using a little bit of tool. Now I have already pre-cut this um, from a bolt that I had cut at a fabric store. And let me show you a couple hints on how to prepare your tool before we get started. Okay, well this is a spool of tool that I actually found at the dollar store, which was a really good find. We're going to need eight yards of about an inch and a half to two inches of uh, stripped tool. And um, this spool actually has eight yards right on it, so and it's six inches wide. So what we can do to make this really easy to get it all trimmed and ready to go for our project is to cut it into three sections of two inches each. So I've already got this spool here marked where I want to cut it and I've already cut one side. Do you see that? How I've got that marked at the two inches spots and I'm, I've am i gone through and I've just cut right through all of the layers with my scissors all the way through the spool just like that. And I'm going to do the same on this side right now. So I'm just gonna, oops, I'm gonna start it actually with a pair of pointier scissors so I can get in there. And then I just take my other scissors and cut right along there. Just making sure that I get all the way down to the cardboard spool that's inside. Just like that. These tool, tool spools can be found at craft stores, too. I just was lucky enough to find this at my dollar store and snagged up a few of those for this project. There we go. And I'm just going like this over it to make sure that every bit of the tool, each layer, is trimmed. And then, when I'm ready to knit with it, I can just remove that part of the plastic that's um, the side that I want to use and do that for each one and it's ready to go. Isn't that easy? Now the next way that you can get tool is on a bolt and um, purchase at a fabric store and you need to make that into yarn just like I've done here and I stuck it in a baggie to keep it nice and um, secure. Now the easiest way to cut that, you'll have a big rectangle worth of um, yarn or I'm sorry, a tool. And what I did, I did two different ways that I found the easiest. I kept the bolt folded in half. Usually the fabric is doubled as you get it. And I'm just going to show you on this piece of paper. So pretend that this is doubled, uh, a doubled yard of tool. And I cut the folded end so that I cut that along this edge so that it was no longer um, a folded piece, but it was two separate cut pieces laid flat. So do that and then you can take and cut along this way and I rounded the corner and we'll say we're cutting at an inch and a half to two inch spaces and you just do that around like this in a spiral pattern just like this. until you get to the middle section of the tool and you're just going to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to line it up or measure it, just eyeball it to where, and I'm doing these, you know, this is not an inch and a half to two inches, but this is, you know, so you know how to get it done. And then right there we're going to end it. So this would be the end of our tail right here on this section and as it's kind of just pulls up into this long, um, a ribbon really and then and these edges you can trim off so that they're not so sharp like this and then you're going to take um, two of the ends either at this side or at this beginning side and just do a square knot tie those together and then wind it up into your spool like this 
And I actually put it on my yarn winder and it made a nice little ball ready to go. Another way that you can cut that um, tool on your bolt is to leave the folded, no, you go ahead and cut the folded side just like we did before. So you have two flaps of, um, of tool laid back to back and then you're going to cut it up like this and you leave a section and down like this and you leave a section. Keep that width the same as um, as whatever you are cutting here. So one and a half to two inches through there. And you just alternate like this. Leave a section. Trim all the way, but leave a section here. Trim all the way. And I'm, oops, <laughs> leave a section there. And then you trim all the way and leave a section. And you do that until you're to the end of your yard. Oh, I keep wanting to cut there. You might want to pay a little more attention than I am when you're doing this so that you don't make a little mistake and cut too much. There we go. And then um, you would do the same as you did in the other one. And because it's doubled, you take one of the ends and you tie it together in a square knot so that you have one long continuous um, length of this tool ribbon that you've just now made and you wind it up into a ball so it's ready to go. Alright, let's get going on our project.